Fluid Mechanics Test Questions Question 1 Shear stress in static fluid is A. Always zero B. Always maximum C. Between zero to maximum D. Unpredictable Answer, always zero. Question 2 Which branch of fluid mechanics deals with translation, rotation and deformation of the fluid element without considering the force and energy causing such motion is called as A. Fluid dynamics B. Fluid kinematics C. Fluid C. Fluid kinetics D. Hydraulic Answer, fluid kinematics. Question 3 Intermolecular cohesive force in the fluids is A. Less than that of the solids B. More than that of the solids C. Equal to that of the solids D. Unpredictable Answer, less than that of the solids. Question 4 The specific weight of the fluid depends upon A. Gravitational acceleration B. Mass density of the fluid C. Both A and B D. None of the above Answer, both A and B. Question 5 Which property of the fluid offers resistance to deformation under the action of shear force? A. Density B. Viscosity C. Permeability D. Specific gravity Answer, viscosity. Question 6 In which method of describing fluid motion, the observer remains stationary and observes changes in the fluid parameters at a particular point only? A. Lagrangian method. B. Eulerian method. C. Stationary method, stationary method. D. All of the above. Answer, Eulerian method. Question 7 The rate of increase of velocity with respect to change in the position of fluid particle in a flow field is called as A. Local acceleration B. Temporal acceleration C. Convective acceleration D. All of the above. Answer, convective acceleration. Question 8 The actual path followed by a fluid particle as it moves during a period of time, is called as A. Path line B. Streak line C. Filament line D. Stream line Answer, path line. Question 9 The imaginary line drawn in the fluid in such a way that the tangent to any point gives the direction of motion at the point, is called as A. Path line B. Streak line C. Filament line D. Stream line Answer, streamline.
Question 10. The study of force which produces motion in a fluid is called as a. Fluid statics b. Fluid dynamics c. Fluid kinematics d. None of the above Answer. Fluid dynamics Question 11 Which of the following forces generally act on fluid while considering fluid dynamics? 1. Viscous force 2. Pressure force 3. Gravity force 4. Turbulent force 5. 5. Compressibility force A. 1, 3, 4 and 5 B. 1, 2, 3 and 5 C. 1, 2, 3 and 4 D. 1, 4 and 5 Answer, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 Question 12 The net force of an ideal flow is equal to the sum of non-zero values of a. Pressure force and gravity force b. Viscous force and gravity force c. Pressure force and viscous force d. Pressure force, viscous force and compressibility force Answer, pressure force and gravity force. Question 13 When the net force acting on a fluid is the sum of only gravity force, pressure force and viscous force, the equation is called as A. Reynolds equation of motion B. Navier-Stokes equation of motion C. Euler's equation Euler's equation of motion D. None of the above. Answer, Navier-Stokes equation of motion. Question 14 In a steady, ideal flow of an incompressible fluid, total energy at any point of the fluid is always constant. This theorem is known as A. Euler's theorem B. Navier-Stokes theorem C. Reynolds the Reynolds theorem D. Bernoulli's theorem Answer, Bernoulli's theorem Question 15 The flow of fluid will be laminar when A. Reynolds number is less than 2000 B. The density of the fluid is low. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. Both A and B. Question 16 How should be the viscosity of the flowing fluid for laminar flow? A. Viscosity of the fluid should be as low as possible, for laminar flow. B. Viscosity of the fluid should be as high as possible, for laminar flow. C. Change in viscosity and viscosity of the flowing fluid does not affect its flow. D. Unpredictable. Answer. Viscosity of the fluid should be as high as possible, for laminar flow. Question 17 What is the ratio of maximum velocity to average velocity, when the fluid is passing through two parallel plates and flow is laminar? A. 3 halves B. 2 thirds C. 4 thirds D. 3 fourths Answer, 3 slash 4.
Question 18 The head loss through fluid flowing pipe due to friction is A. The minor loss B. The major loss C. Both A and B D. None of the above Answer, the major loss Question 19 Minor losses occur due to A. Sudden enlargement in pipe B. Sudden contraction in pipe C. Bends in pipe D. All of the above Answer, all of the above Question 20 Minor losses do not make any serious effect in A. Short pipes B. Long pipes C. Both the short as well as long pipes D. Cannot say Answer, long pipes Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.